Hello fish fools, Jeff here. So this is my 10 gallon mutt guppy tank. I've had this tank up and running close to two years now. I initially set it up to be a quarantine tank. That was until I acquired this guppy colony. So actually the very first video I submitted on YouTube when I created this channel was about these mutt guppies, how I acquired them. I found an ad on Craigslist where a lady that had this turtle pond full of guppies was just giving guppies away. So I just figured what the hell, I'll come and get some and then, you know, with the intentions of only getting maybe a few pairs. And then her son just kept, you know, he's a little kid, he just kept scooping out a bunch of guppies and then I ended up with about 30 or so. So that's, you know, what started this. And one of my earlier videos too, I I made a video, how many guppies can you keep in a 30 in a 10 gallon tank, which is about 30. And part of that was kind of a parody cuz it was this old Jack in the Box commercial about a dude getting tacos. And he's just, how many should I get? And the dude's like, 30. So I was kind of mocking that, but kind of using that as an example, you can go, you know, kind of going overboard, but also, you know, I was kind of joking, but I was kind of serious because not that I would really recommend that many to start with, but you actually could do that. And I kind of went over the inch per gallon rule and you know, def kind of talked about how that's not that good a rule, followed up by another video where I was defending that rule, because it's, you know, a lot of it is circumstantial. It's a lot of, you know, it's, depend. you know, it really depends. Is the inch per gallon rule a good rule? Yes. Is the inch per gallon a good rule? No. I mean, it's basically it can be both yes and no depending on other variables but anyway so that video I had a lot of mixed reviews or mixed um, feedback and you know I was asked what well, you know following up on that and so here we are about a year and a half later and there's still about 30 guppies in this tank so really, the question, a better question would be instead of asking how many guppies can you put in a 30 gallon tank, I mean in a 10 gallon tank, would have been how many guppies can a 10 gallon tank sustain? So that answer is about 30 and that's about what I have in here over that time. You know, it kind of, it basically kind of levels off. I mean the the guppies are going to have babies if you have, you know, I have all this java moss in here if you have cover for the babies to hide so they don't all get eaten. If I did, you know, I do water changes and if I shake this up, I will see little babies come out, but... But based on how much the tank is fed, how it's, you know, how much it can really sustain, like how many can how many babies are going to survive to adulthood compared to how many adults are going to get older or you know that might get sick and, and die or replace with new babies that grow up so over a year and a half you know started with about 30 and I still have about 30 so some of the the lineage has changed a bit I had some liar tails like some of the adult males were liar tails and like those genes seem to have gone away and I actually did have um, with those guppies in here I had some other fish in here you know it was a quarantine tank before I got these guppies and then even while the guppies were in here I was still quarantining fish in here with them and I had a one of those fish was a yellow cobra endler so I think 
Well, you can see that some of those genes seem to have, you know, that yellow cobra antler while I was in here impregnated some of the females. So, like, here's these right here. I like some guppy antler hybrids in here now. And they are cool looking. But yeah. And I do have. Well, that one right there is not looking. It's kind of not looking so good. I have four um, bronze corridors in here. And they've been here since. You know, I had a, other fish in quarantine here. And I just left them in here. And they're doing great. Nice and healthy. They've grown. They're, they're big and healthy. Um, but yeah, so how many guppies can a 10 gallon tank sustain? Um, about 30, at least in this instance. But I'm going to show you another 10 gallon tank. All right, so here's my 10 gallon wild guppy tank. And there's pea puffers in here too. So this is a tank I, this was also a quarantine tank at a time and I had, I got 10, I bought 10 wild guppies that are, you know, sold as feeder guppies at my local fish store and they had babies in here and from that 10, now there's about, I'd say there's probably like 50 in here. And I just added, because it was a quarantine tank, I tried to keep it bare, but now I'm, it's not any more, it's just gonna be my wild guppy tank. And I just added substrate and some plants. So I haven't seen any babies like surviving growing up since it was pretty bare. Like the first, since the first few batches that they had have grown up, but since the pea puffers were added and since the plants that I did have in here before I added this wisteria, before I did have some water spray in here and some hornwort, um, but I didn't have any real lighting in here and I just recently added the the bright light that it has now. But anyway, so how many guppies would this 10 gallon tank sustain? And I don't really know yet. It's, I'll have to give it more time. I guess it started with about with 10, now there's about 50. But once they get older and the adults die, it all depends on the the circumstances of if they have babies, if the babies are going to survive and grow up to replace them. I think with the pea puffers in here, they've been eating all the, you know, the babies and of course the adults eat the babies too and they didn't have cover, but I think now that I have, you know, this, these plants and when the plants grow more, it'll provide cover for some of the fry to survive even as crowded as it is, I think it'll probably level off so that it would probably maintain this current population. And of course, if you have this many fish in a 10 gallon tank, whatever the size tank may be, you know, you're going to have to change the water more frequently if, depending on how much you feed them. So, yeah, and then I'm going to show you another 10 gallon tank. All right, so here's my guppy, guppy and Endler hybrid tank. So all the, except for the platies all, that I just added in here recently, or that's, that's one that's been here for a while, but um, all these guppies, guppy and their hybrids, they're from, started from one, male endler and one female guppy. But, you know, this being a 10 gallon tank, there's maybe, I'd say about 15 guppy endlers hybrids in here now. 
So, you know, this being different circumstances in this tank. Though this tank has a lot of cover, a lot, you know, this Java Moss is, you would think would provide plenty of cover for babies. But the difference here is in this tank, I have about a dozen a mono shrimp. And of course I can't find any right now as I'm looking for them, but it's, you know, this tank is pretty dark as all this, the light doesn't get through with all this java moss in here to kind of let grow out of control. But anyway, yeah, with the, I think the difference here is the Amano shrimp, I believe are like little ninja assassins. So I think very few babies are surviving. So, you know, I'm not able to maintain or it's not able to sustain like 30 or more guppies. If I, I think if I remove the amount of shrimp that might, you know, the population would, would pick up. But all right, let's go back to the mutt guppy tank. All right, so again, so the question, how many guppies can a 10 gallon aquarium sustain? And that really depends. I'll say 30 and I'll use this as an example, depending on the variables. So variables being how much you feed them, how much you change the water, what other tank mates might did they have how much plant or plants or hiding places do you have for the fry so this tank has been pretty consistent so it's been you know sustaining about 30 guppies and so with that I am going to make some changes to this tank where I'm now having blackbeard algae problems now that because I have this submersible Nicru LED light in here that I added in and since then got this blackbeard algae all here and I got that because the lights in the hood like this left side wore out. Now I only had the ones on the left side, so it was pretty dark until I got that light and that. So now I think I'm going to add a Siamese algae eater. I have in one of my other tanks. I'm going to move that in here. Um, I think I'll be able to help out with the black beard algae. I did move a couple in my 30 gallon and when I had blackbeard algae and over time the blackbeard algae went away and they started eating it but so that you know I'm only gonna do that temporary until it can clean the blackbeard algae and once that's all taken care of I'll remove the semis algae eater but it will probably eat some guppy babies too so that could affect how many it can sustain and then I'm going to put some cherry shrimp in here too for my three and a half gallon neocaridina sh cherry shrimp tank because now that the population of cherry shrimp are growing in my 30 gallon tank and my th five and a half gallon tank now it's time to put some in here so all right well, that's it for now and remember I'm Jeff and I enjoy fishies thanks for watching